In this video, I will explain about aromatic compounds, aromaticity, and the criteria of aromaticity. The term aromatic is originated from aroma. The literal meaning of aroma is fragrance or pleasant smell. The term aromatic is used in chemistry first by August Wilhelm Hoffmann in 1855 in his publication. In the late 18th century and in the beginning of 19th century, the term aromatic is applied for the organic compounds which are highly stable and have distinct smell. But certain compounds such as terpenes which are highly unsaturated and have distinct smell but these compounds are not considered as aromatic compounds. At present the aromaticity is not based on the smell or odor. It is based on their electronic properties, structural properties, chemical properties and their magnetic properties. In 1865, August Kekulé, he proposed the structure of benzene. In 1925, Robert Robinson explained the stability of benzene. The stability of benzene is due to delocalization of 6 pi electrons in the benzene. He proposed aromatic sextet. According to this rule, the compounds are stable when 6 pi electrons are delocalized in that molecule. In 1931, Hukul proposed 4n plus 2 pi electrons rule. According to this rule, cyclic planar molecule containing 4n plus 2 pi electrons are aromatic. This is about aromaticity and aromatic compounds. The criteria of aromaticity. Aromatic compounds, the aromaticity is measured in terms of uh, certain parameters. The first criteria is energetic criteria or stability. And the second one is chemical behavior. Aromaticity is measured in terms of chemical behavior. And uh, the third one is bond length equalization. And uh, aromaticity is also measured in terms of uh, their magnetic uh, properties or their magnetic behavior. You can also easily predict uh, aromaticity, aromatic compounds by using Huckel's rule. In aromaticity or in aromatic compounds, the ring atoms are sp2 or sp hybridized. And the, if you take the molecular orbitals of uh, aromatic compounds, the bonding molecular orbital should be completely filled. These are the criteria of uh, the aromaticity. Let us take uh, the first criteria, energetic criteria. In aromaticity, in aromatic compounds, the aromatic compounds are highly stable. Aromaticity measures uh, enhanced stability or distinct stability or unusual stability. The stability of aromatic compounds is due to large resonance energy. So here aromaticity is directly proportional to aromaticity is directly proportional to resonance energy and stability of the aromatic compounds is also directly proportional to resonance energy. So, potential energy is indirectly proportional to resonance energy. More the resonance energy, less the potential energy and more the stability and more the aromaticity. So, the aromaticity is measured in terms of uh, stability. The first criteria for aromaticity is the aromatic compounds should be highly stable. 
Okay, these are the most commonly appeared aromatic compounds. I have taken uh, some aromatic compounds and also I have taken some, I have taken resonance energy of these aromatic compounds. It's a benzene, 36 kilocalorie per mole, kilocalorie per mole. And uh, pyridine, 32 kilocalorie per mole. Thiophene, 29 kilocalorie per mole. And uh, pyrrole, the resonance energy is 21 kilocalorie per mole. And furan is uh, 16 kilocalorie per mole. Here, this is the order. The resonance energy of benzene is greater than pyridine. Pyridine is greater than thiophene. Thiophene is greater than pyrrole. Pyrrole is greater than furan. Then what is the stability order? The stability order is uh, parallel to the stability order of resonance energy. So as the resonance energy increases, uh, the stability of uh, organic compounds, the stability of uh, aromatic compounds increases and the aromaticity of uh, those compounds uh, is measured in terms of the stability of uh, or the resonance energy of these compounds. And the second criteria of aromaticity is uh, their chemical behavior. We know that aromatic compounds are highly unsaturated. In unsaturated compounds, the characteristic reactions of unsaturated compounds is electrophilic addition reactions. If you take uh, alkenes or alkynes, what is the characteristic reaction? The characteristic reaction is electrophilic addition reaction. Even though the aromatic compounds are highly unsaturated, these compounds exhibit electrophilic or nucleophilic substitution reactions instead of electrophilic addition reaction. This is the criteria for aromaticity. If you take benzene, if you take benzene, let us take benzene. We have six hydrogen atoms. Let's take one hydrogen. Okay, when you treat with electrophile, there is a electrophilic substitution rather than electrophilic addition. In place of hydrogen, there is a substitution of uh, electrophile. Okay, this is electrophilic substitution reaction. Aromatic compounds, the characteristic reactions of aromatic compounds is electrophilic substitution reaction. Sometimes you can find nucleophilic substitution reaction also. These compounds cannot exhibit electrophilic addition reactions even though these compounds are highly unsaturated. And the third criteria of aromaticity is bond length equalization. Due to delocalization of pi electrons, there is a bond length equalization. Less bond alternation and more bond length equalization. Suppose if you take a benzene, in benzene, one of the resonance structures I am taking, this is a benzene, you can find a double bond and a single bond, alternate double bonds and single bonds. We know that. For double bond, the bond length is 1.34 angstroms. For single bond, the bond length is 1.54 angstroms. But if you take benzene, if you take the, the real molecule, the resonance hybrid, there is a delocalization of 6 pi electrons. All the bond lengths are equal. If you take this bond or this bond, all the bond lengths are equal. The bond length is in between 1.34 to 1.54, that is 1.39 angstroms. So there is a equalization of bond length due to delocalization of pi electrons. So more the equalization of uh, bond lengths are less the bond alternation, there is a more aromaticity of that compounds. And the next one is uh, magnetic criteria, magnetic behavior. If you take aromatic compounds, uh, these compounds exhibit large magnetic anisotropies. Suppose if you apply magnetic field, external magnetic field, B naught, 
the b naught is not same at this position and this position okay this is uh, inside the ring and the outside the ring the magnetic field is not same is not uh, similar is not same there is a difference in magnetic field in the ring and outside the ring here there is a delocalization of uh, electrons electron cloud you can observe this is the delocalization of electron cloud and this is a delocalization of pi electrons this delocalization of pi electrons creates induced ring current when you apply external magnetic field this induced ring current again creates induced magnetic field this is the induced magnetic field so if you take uh, at the center of the ring this is the direction of induced magnetic field this is the direction of uh, applied magnetic field both are anti parallel but uh, if you take outside the ring both are parallel so in this case there is a reinforcement of uh, external magnetic field at the center of uh, benzene there is a opposition of uh, external magnetic field so there is a large magnetic anisotropy in the case of uh, aromatic compounds and also there is anomalous chemical shifts uh, in an amount this is a magnetic criteria and uh, the next one is the ring atoms should be sp2 or sp hybridized carbons suppose if you take uh, benzene all carbons are sp2 hybridized so if you take any aromatic compound the all the ring atoms should be sp2 or sp hybridized then only the cyclic compound will be planar then only there is a delocalization of pi electrons and the next one is field bonding orbitals suppose if you take benzene if you take a pi molecular orbitals okay this is a energy levels pi molecular orbitals you can find us six uh, pi molecular orbitals these are bonding molecular orbitals bonding molecular orbitals these are anti bonding molecular orbitals in this case we have six pi electrons six pi electrons the six pi electrons will be filled in bonding molecular orbitals here all the bonding molecular orbitals are completely filled with the electrons this is another criteria for aromaticity and you can predict aromatic compounds you can easily distinguish which one is aromatic which one is anti aromatic which one is uh, non aromatic by using uh, huckel's rule according to this rule this is applicable for uh, cyclic compounds so the compound should be cyclic planar and there should be continuous conjugation so there should be double bond and single bond next will be double bond or double bond single bond and there should be positive charge double bond single bond there should be negative charge or lone pair of electrons so this is the criteria continuous conjugation means the double bond should be in conjugation with another double bond or double bond should be conjugation with the positive charge or double bond is in conjugation with the lone pair of electrons this is the uh, another criteria and the total number of pi electrons should be 4n plus 2 pi electrons the electrons which are participating in the delocalization should be 4n plus 2 pi electrons here n is 0 1 2 3 4 so 2 pi electrons 6 pi electrons 10 pi electrons and uh, 14 pi electrons and so on these electrons containing uh, cyclic planar molecules are aromatic according to huckel's rule 
This one is applicable for only monocyclic compounds. Monocyclic compounds such as annulins and charged aromatic compounds. So this is not applicable for polycyclic uh, aromatic hydrocarbons. In polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, even though the number of electrons are not equal to 4n plus 2 by electrons, these compounds are aromatic. We can easily distinguish which one is aromatic, which one is non-aromatic, which one is anti-aromatic. For aromatic, according to Huckel's rule, cyclic, planar, all ring atoms should be sp2 or sp hybridized 4n plus 2 pi electrons. It means 2 pi, 6 pi, 10 pi, 14 pi, 18 pi, and 22 pi, and so on electrons. For non-aromatic uh, cyclic and this one is non-planar. Suppose if you take a cyclic compound which is non-planar, the non-planar cyclic compound will be non-aromatic, non for non. So if you take any cyclic compound, if it is non-cyclic, non-planar, the non-planar cyclic compound should be non aromatic irrespective of number of pi electrons generally non aromatic compounds uh, you can find sp3 hybridized atom are distorted planarity sometimes all the atoms are sp2 hybridized but uh, there is a distortion in planarity so the molecule will become non planar molecule in that case the molecule is non aromatic and the uh, Huckel rule not applicable for non-aromatic compounds. It may have 4n by electrons, 4n plus 2 by electrons. The criteria is non-planar. Should remember, non-planarity is the criteria for non-aromatic compounds. For anti-aromatic compounds, uh, cyclic, planar, all ring atoms, sp2 or sp hybridized, and 4n pi electrons. If you find 4n pi electrons, the compound is anti aromatic. It means 4 pi electrons, 8 pi electrons, 12 pi, 16 pi, 25 electrons. So, delocalization in the case of 4n plus 2 pi electrons, the delocalization leads to stability. In the case of 4n pi electrons, the delocalization leads to instability. So, by this table, you can easily distinguish which one is aromatic, which one is non-aromatic, which one is anti-aromatic. For aromatic, cyclic planar, 4n plus 2 pi electrons. For non-aromatic, non-planar. For anti-aromatic, cyclic planar and 4n pi electrons. Then what is the stability order of uh, uh, aromatic, non-aromatic and anti-aromatic? In cyclic compounds, aromatic is more stable than homoaromatic. Homoaromatic is more stable than non-aromatic. Non-aromatic is more stable than anti-aromatic. Anti-aromatic anti is least stable. This one is least stable. And uh, this is the most stable. Aromatic is the most stable. If you take acyclic compounds, Conjugated is more stable than isolated. Isolated is more stable than cumulated. Suppose if you take uh, this one, conjugated. And if you take this one, this one is uh, isolated. Isolated. And if you take this one, this is cumulated. So the stability of this conjugated is greater than, let us take, Conjugated is greater than isolated. Isolated is greater than cumulated. This is the stability order of acyclic compounds. In coming videos, I will explain the classification of aromatic compounds.